Hello, my name is Austin Layman, and welcome to the next edition of Austin Weekend. Here with me is Dad, and we have made some improvements to our channel over the past week or two. Yeah, you just saw at the beginning of this one, we've got a new, nice, short, animated intro, and we've got some new stuff coming up at the end, too, so we've been working on some new animation. But today, we're here to interview, uh, I mean, to talk about a movie that we watched. King uh, Kong Skull Island. Kong Skull Islands, yep. I was fixing to say King Kong because everybody Kong. knows that's King Kong. It's King Kong on Skull Island. Basically, so this is uh, this is nothing like the old movie. Every King Kong we've seen so far has been a remake of the the original. It's been, yeah, it's been passed rehashed. on. Uh, yeah, th this isn't the monkey getting captured, falling in love, in love with a girl, climbing into, going to New York, climbing the tower, getting shot down by airplanes or whatever, falling down and dying. This is a totally new story, and, it, and, and it's about King Kong, and he lives on... Skull Island. It says it in the title. It says it in the title. He lives on Skull Island, and he's sort of like the the caretaker of that island. We won't give you too much about it, but, but that's his home, and he's sort of the king there. He's king... Kong. Kong. So they call him Kong, and he's the king. He's King Kong. He's, and uh, the the whole story revolves around that uh, people discovering him and people wanting to prove that he exists. And so they stuff. go to Skull Island. So they go to Skull Island to uh, try to make all that happen, and then all of the death and mayhem and stuff ensued from that point on. And what do you think of the? plot of this movie. Oh, honestly, this they're they made King Kong this time in in the same timeline as Godzilla. So, really what they're doing with this movie is laying the basis down for movies to come. We uh, we all know if you if you don't know, one of the best movies that could possibly be made uh, we we hope is going to be Godzilla versus King Kong. King Kong. I think it's supposed to come out in two in twenty nineteen. That's what this movie proceeds. So this movie sort of lays more foundation of how these these super beasts uh, are actually how they live and how they've been on the planet forever and stuff like that. So they've got King Kong in the in the same storyline as the Godzilla. I think that's really cool because of the foundation it's laying for all the future movies to come out. Now, what do you think of the plot of this movie, and how did you think it held up? No, I think it was—I think it was a good story. Uh, the 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 only downside to this movie is there's 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 too much going on. There's too many characters. There's too much to follow. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, yeah. too there's, many characters. There's not one lead male role and one lead female role. There's Ten different people, and you're some of them are going here and that way, some of them are going here and going that way, and some of them are over here doing that. And they're uh, all it gets, it, get, it gets a little too busy. Instead of just two or three characters and Kong and everything that could go on, you're you have to learn who this character is, that character is, this character is, that character is. And, and speaking of Kong, yeah. they didn't show enough of him. Well, the only Kong, just about the only Kong you got was Battle Kong. When he was battling different stuff, so and that you could didn't get be a, that could be a problem if you don't, you know, give him more characteristics. Yeah, there's not a lot of depth put into him. Uh, now all the battles are just glorious battles. Uh, I think again, there's too many characters. There's too many characters he fights too. I, I, I think there's just too much. They tried to cram too much into one into one thing there. When the main emphasis we're going to watch the movie is. King Kong. King Kong. <laughs> we want to see King Kong. So they had too many people stories going on. And what did you think of the special effects? Special effects were A1. They were top notch. Yes. Uh, they, Especially King Kong didn't look fake. Didn't look fake at all. No. It seems like movies these days are doing a better job at keeping their CGI mm -hmm. postmodern and keeping them fluent. Yeah. Without any choppy movements or just ridiculous looking designs. Yeah. That could work as an advantage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but one thing we do, if you haven't seen Kong Skull Island, Skull Island yet, stay for the after credits. As a matter of fact, stay till the very end of the movie because there is stuff at the very end of the movie that really gets you excited for what's to come. 
Now, what did you think about the characters? We mentioned the characters when we were talking about the, some of the flaws of the movie. But... Honestly, yeah, I liked uh, I liked the uh, I liked the, some of the characters. the The main female female character in it, uh, she plays a pretty good part. Uh, I liked the uh, I liked the part played by the uh, airplane pilot. And again, we won't we won't we won't get into too we, much. We won't mention names. Yeah, we won't we won't get into too much of it. Uh, some of the other ones I really didn't care for. They didn't even need to be there, really. Some characters were just death fodder. Yeah, so yeah, some of them were just something to die, just just to get eaten by skull crawlers. Having no point to the story. No, that could that you know that could break a movie if the characters you, have mm -hmm. no point to be there. That's what I say. It was a good story. Everybody loves King Kong. Everybody loves seeing King Kong fight. And that carries the movie. That carries the movie to the finish line at mm -hmm. the end. Yeah. The so, characters are here and there kind of quality. Mm -hmm. You might like some characters and some of them you just want to choke with your bare hands. Mm -hmm. But that's just a nitpick. Yeah, that's just a nitpick. It is a good quality movie. I would recommend going and seeing it in, in the uh, uh, theaters. Especially if you like the Godzilla timeline. Uh, of course, I, we're, we're, we're Godzilla fanatics. We live some Godzilla, so so this is we're we're excited about this, and especially where it's where it's, where it's leading heading. to the next Godzilla movie and the the Kong versus Godzilla uh, is going to be very good. So I'm really excited for those. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Speaking of Godzilla, I got a little dinosaur T-shirt yes. right here. I am unstoppable. <laughs> little winky guy. Uh, any anything that was really your favorite throughout the movie? The favorite scene in particular. Mm. Favorite scene. I won't really delve into that because it might spoil a part of the movie. But if I would have to say anything about that, it would probably be the end fight scene. Mm -hmm. It was dramatic. Lives are on the line and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> But That's, it was the last the last fight scene was the best fight scene, and again it was it was made really well. Uh, the live action people uh, were part of the battle, sort of, and it all went together without looking like it was fake. So, so they did a really good job at it. You wanna you wanna you wanna go ahead and do a rating for it? Well, one more thing. What's that? Acting. What do you think about the acting of all the characters? This also includes Kong and the other monsters. No, I think I think that all the acting was was really good, and and I don't want to get too uh, anti anybody, uh, but uh, Samuel Jackson, I'm, I don't know, about, uh, he's Samuel Jackson seems like he plays the same character in every movie, the last four or five movies he's been in. It's the same same thing. It's the same character, you the same attitude. You had a beef with Samuel L. Jackson? I'm getting a little tired of maybe the same character done over and over. Maybe and that's his specialty. Over and over. Yeah, but, you know, after I've had toast every movie I've went to to watch in his, I like to have a little something different. <laughs> well, that's, that's the, that, that's the, uh, maybe that's one of the characters that I think we just didn't need in the movie. I mean, there was no reason for all that in the movie. We could have done without that whole plot line that had him in it. To me, anyways, that was me personally. So, with that out of the way, let's get to the rating. Yeah. We don't know. Rating, we don't do the typical stars. Typical critic time. Critic, crit, critic. It's not a four-star movie or a five-star movie. Uh, this is not French cuisine we've got. This is a movie. This is a good old guy's movie. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, we rate them one being... Terrible. Horrible, crappy, crappy movie. And then ten being... Ten being the best thing that we've ever seen. And zero being food fight. That's the only movie we've ever watched that was a zero. And it deserved and it. And it deserved it. Uh, and we always pull something from the movie uh, to uh, to uh, rate him with. We, we uh, like in the Kung Fu Panda movies. He loved dumplings. Dumpling time. Dumpling time. Dumpling time. So we rated those movies using dumplings. They got like nine and a half dumplings. So uh, we always pull something from the movie. What do you want to pull from Kong to use? You want to use skull crawlers? How many skull crawlers you give it? <laughs> I, how many dead people? How many how many how many dead bodies you give it? <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Awesome. There's a lots of dead bodies in this movie. <laughs> yeah, it's it starts out with a lot of death within the first fifteen minutes, and then it's just sort of 
there's still a lot of people die throughout it, but there's a lot of them go in the first 15, 20 minutes of it. Uh, skull crawlers, just like you saw in the, in the previews, are some of the bad thingies that are, are in Maybe it. we should use skull crawlers. Yeah, skull crawl okay, one skull crawler being a crappy skull crawler, 10 skull, skull crawlers being awesome. And undealable. And, uh, yes, how many skull crawlers do you give Kong Skull Island? I'll have to think about this one because I have to put all the stuff we've talked about into context and mm -hmm. further analysis. Mm -hmm. So I'll just take it to you. So I would give it, I love Kong. I love the storyline they did. Uh, but some, like I said, some of the characters were a little too busy. I would probably give it about an 8.8. .8, uh, something like an 8.7, 8.8. .8. Uh, you know, it's still a good, solid B movie, B+. Plus. It's not a A, it's not an a, a plus movie. But it's. It, I would still recommend going and seeing it. Yes, indeed. Well, how, how about you? What do you I'd think? go about the same thing as you. The first time that we've ever really agreed on a rating in a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> The first time we've given it, you've given it 8.8 .8 and I give it an 8.8. .8. .8. We haven't done that. No, I, I realize. No, no. Re, re, I realized since like a year ago in March. But with that out of the way, I'll explain mm. why I give it an 8.8. .8. Mm. It's really it's really good for what it's given. And the yeah. most of the characters, let's just put most of the characters in there, mm. are useful to the story. And Kong is good in this movie as well. The CGI doesn't feel stiff and unnatural like they no. walk on stilts. Yeah. It's just a solid movie overall. And Kong is cool. Kong is cool. Yeah. And now let's 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 just talk about the future projects. Yeah, of course there's a lot um, there's a lot of more mo there's a lot mo of movies out right now. There's We've, lots of cartoons. There's lots of cartoons out right now. We've got a lot of cartoon shows to do. We, we've got a lot of movies to do. It's I don't if we tried to name them all in the movie it in this it, we already we can't we it would take too long to name them all yeah yeah it, so we would probably last thirty minutes just trying to tell you guys about all the stuff we've got our, our favorite thing to do is requests from you so if you've got any requests be sure put, to put them down, down there in the in, in, in don't the be notes. afraid uh huh be sure and hit the like button. Hit the Down subscribe. Here. Hit the subscribe button. And there is a groovy button now. There is a groovy button. And it's right here. The groovy button's right here. So hit this groovy button. <laughs> touch, touch, touch the groovy button. Other than that, we'll see you later. Ow. Ow. Hit me, Vegas. Oh. See you next week.